Scribble Kibble is your weekly cup of animation, and today I'm going to split this topic into two mugs. For two episodes, I'm going to completely ignore the methodology of the animation and instead talk about the writing. Because, as Chris wrote on the Zootopia episode, good writing can save bad art. Good art can't save bad writing. Welcome to Good Writing, Bad Writing. The featured animation is Tiger. Yes, we're starting with the bad writing, but I promise I'll make up for it next week. First of all, I should mention that the animator Pernil Kair is devoted to the type of art you'd expect to see in a modern art museum, aka the weird stuff. In that respect, the animation does very well. It's a confusing mess of symbolism with no definitive meaning. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. It's abstract art, but animation. Like one of those films where you sit in a dark room and listen to 30 minutes of pops and clicks sync to images of colored smoke. But even in that type of exhibit, there's always a little plaque where the artist talks about what they intended to make you feel or think, and once you read that, you can watch the movie and say, oh, yeah, I get it, I see that now. Even if you don't read the plaque, you still feel something. <sighs> In terms of writing, Tiger fails to make us feel anything other than confusion, and it defies interpretation. It's the perfect example of someone wanting to make people think in order to figure out what's going on, but the final story is so contorted that there's no way for us to find meaning in it. How to fix this? Well, there's two paths we could go down. Path one, become more abstract. If the intention is to be abstract, then as a writer you need to decide what emotions you want viewers to feel throughout your film then try to capture that emotion without using a narrative or conventional symbols. Symbols have meaning, you don't want that. You don't want people's biases getting in the way of their experience of the raw emotion. That's why a lot of abstract art boils down to shapes and colors that look nothing like anything in real life. So you could go more abstract and focus on creating emotions rather than a confusing story. Path two is just to fix the story. The first way to ensure your story makes sense is just to let some people read your script and then tell you what they got out of the story. If they get something out of it, even if it might not be what you expected, good. They read it, they understood it, they made something of it. If multiple people read it and are confused or bored, then that's poor writing on your part. You need to rewrite. And I'm not going to pretend writing is easier than animation. Writing is more accessible than animation. Animation requires tools and knowledge. Writing only requires knowledge. Many people can write. Only a few people can write well. And of that few, only a thimbleful can write well for animations. It's a very specific type of writing. Going down the less abstracted, better writing path, all that Tiger really needs is to be more clear. Even getting rid of the copy-paste beginning and ending would let us make up a meaning for the story. Because it starts and ends the same, though, it implies that the whole cycle repeats itself, which really doesn't make any sense. Let's say Tiger is about a girl becoming an independent person and unwittingly pushing her fat, round friend Olav out of her life. In that interpretation, it doesn't make sense that we would start over from the beginning. If it repeats, it means none of the characters have learned anything. You know what, if you just got rid of the tiger part altogether, the story would be more clear and still have the open-to-interpretation feeling. What even is the tiger? There's absolutely no clues to this. The animation is called Tiger, so it must be important. If the tiger is the girl's creativity or independence or imagination, then I guess it makes sense that she can't kill it permanently. Or perhaps she could. The ending would be her alone in the kitchen with a dead plant, her friend Olav is gone, and she killed the wild part of herself that made him leave. The end. Talk about a dark ending. With the ending as it is, though, that just shows how you can mess up an entire story with a poorly written ending. Ugh, I can't try to make sense of Tiger anymore, it's making me frustrated. Good art can't save bad writing. And this is bad writing. Scribble Kibble, the show where I've given up on watching confusing cartoons and instead eat dog food. It's a lot more fun. Wolves don't bark, they bork. Bork, bork, bork. My blah reaction to today's animation and my happiness at what I have in store next week. Yay!